Good morning, everybody. It's before 6 a.m. It's Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020, and we are up early <laughs> to get this red, white, and beautiful bar workout shot before we do skull drop off and before we head to the poles together. So this workout features two to three minute seat layers to get you a firm and lifted backside. Now listen, I know there's a lot of tension out there right now, but the important thing about today is that we exercise our right to vote and then that you exercise your way to a better booty right here with me right now. So no matter what time you get around to doing this workout, make sure you leave me a comment, tell me how it went, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can see when we drop new videos because I promise, I know I've been saying this for a month, but I promise new videos are on the way. So here we go this morning, make sure you have your hand weights. We're gonna open with arms and then get into that seat work as promised. So we're gonna start with our warm up right here. Long arms, long legs. And start that rotation. Pull those knees up nice and high. Let's get that spine loose. Back to long and lift straight for two and one and twist again. Back to long in the front, lift and long. And one more twist, three, two, and one. We're gonna reach up and stretch. Not bending yet, just stretching the arms. Fingers to the sky. One more time and now we'll bend at the hips to the knees and down and reach. Start to breathe and down to the shins and up and toes. Roll it up. Here we go. Three and two and one. It's arm time. Hand weights. Here we go. Starting with an alternating front shoulder lift. One and two. Stopping right about shoulder level. And the weights are crossing right here in the middle. Keep your hands soft. You should be using twos, threes, or fives for this isometric arm work. One more. And double lift. We're gonna take two more here. Front shoulders nice and warm. Last one, and flip up, flip up. Keep the shoulders out of the ears. Four, three, two, and one. Pulses, four, three, two, and one. Good job. On the side, alternate side lift. One, and two. Warming up that middle shoulder. So one is down, the other lifts. Sometimes this trips people up. One more, and then we're gonna take them both. Nice and smooth. Pull from the bottom, gliding down. Two more, here's two. And one, and flip, and flip. So head of the weight to the ceiling, palm down. There we go. Two, and one, pulse here, four, three, two, and one, hold it, three, two, one, good job. Pull those hand weights in. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see roll shoulders up, down, and back. Pull those palms back right here. So pinch your shoulder blades behind. Look at that, we have a sunrise coming up. The sun always comes up, guys.
two more like this. Two. And one, bring that palm together and the front elbows are still bent 90 degrees. Find that 90, pull back. You're working deep along the spine right here. Two more. Two. And one, bringing them in, front lift. Palms together. So you're still hinging. Hinge, pull. Palms together, elbows are coming up. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Here's full range triceps ready. Pull and push. Straight arms and back. Let me give you a little turn and then I'll shift back so you can see. So straighten those elbows. Back and in. Really drive through the straight arm in the back, okay? And we're gonna keep them lifted. Lifts for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hold them and flip. So palm up, palm in, palm up, palm in. Keep those arms squeezed tight for two and one. And here, hold it three, two and one. Good job, so those hand weights down out of your way. Roll shoulders up, down and back. Here comes that seat work. You're ready to rock it. We're gonna start with our right leg. Back, soft in the left. Pulses on the right. So you're just squeezing that right booty up, let it out. Squeeze it up, let it out. Square your hips towards your support. I'm using my trusty bike today instead of the patio because it's kind of like 45 this morning. This is your mind muscle connection work starting right here. And we're gonna hold it, hold it tight here for three, two, and one. First layer. Let's step it back into a lunge and lift. Lunge and lift. So notice my right knee is not hitting the floor. Nice squares in left and right. And I'm taking my time, finding that bottom position and really driving up through my left heel. So if you're struggling with balance on your lunges here, make sure you find the ball of your foot on your right foot. That's your support in the back. Not your tippy toes, not your arch, the ball of your foot. We got like two more. Last one. Good job. And now we're gonna take a side lift straight out with the right again. Straight and in, straight. And slight bend in your left knee. Driving through your right heel. hip, deep into that left glute. That's what you want, is that fire. I'm gonna releve. So now my weight's on the ball of my left foot, still shifting out through my right heel. Give me three more, three, two, and one. Right foot comes forward, left foot comes back, pulses left. 
pulses left. We got this. So we're gonna do all that again on your left side. Because what do I always say, guys? You got two cheeks. So I just made a little adjustment. I had to shift my weight back a little bit into my left side. My left side is my stubborn side. So sometimes you have to really dig deep and make, make your stubborn side work hard. Hold that tight, here three, two, and one. Here comes your lunge on the left. Nice and square, bend and lift. Bend and lift, bend and lift. The same thing, squares, driving through your right heel, find the ball of your foot on your left leg. Make sure you're staying straight up at your hips too. Chest is uplifted at your support. We're not bending over. Last one. Supporting on that right foot, driving out through the left heel. Here we go. Soften that right knee. Really find that motion from here. You're working up high on this side, on the outside of your seat on this move. I'm gonna releve right here. Wait on my ball on my right foot. Drive out through your left heel. We're almost there. I know that right leg's on fire, guys. Two and one. Nice. Square off those feet right underneath your hips. And we're gonna take calf raises right here, okay? Up, two, down, two. Heels are hovering. So we're gonna put that weight evenly back in. Put that weight evenly back into your heels. Both sides of your seat. combo here up two down two up two down two up two down two yep keep it going and then five four three two one hold it three two and one we're gonna take curtsies here left leg is gonna step it in so folding that left knee in and we're gonna keep it level one first at a tap, okay? So remember the safety things for your knee here. If it bothers your knee to have it that much angled over your foot, make sure you're tracking that front knee with your toes. Are you chasing that booty this morning, all right? Every workout you do, you should set some kind of goal. You don't have to have a grand goal. You don't have to have like a 30 day plan right now. It's cool. What's your goal for this workout? How about not to quit on these curtsies? Let's do that, not quit on the curtsy. Now I've taken it to level two right here with that knee up. Two, 
two. And one, good job. We're gonna take this in, two, and press on the left. So I'm curling my left leg up, pushing my left knee back. So I know that right leg is tired. That's the goal. You wanna fatigue these muscles one at a time so you get that quiver. That's how this isometric stuff works. Keep lifting back so you're pressing back and away from your other leg. Soft right knee. Two more, two and one. Watch this, extend and pull, extend and pull. Keep it going, give me two more, two and one. Holy smoke, do you see steam raising off? We're gonna take that into the other side. A curtsy on the right. I'm turning away from the camera. You're on your last two minutes of standing seat work right here. We're gonna wrap this at 11 minutes total. You're welcome. Take that into level two, knee up, back, pull. Little oblique action here too. That's the cool thing about this bar work. So you're always activating your core. One more. Perfect, into that pretzel on this side. I'm gonna stay facing away from you, soft bend your left leg, pushing your right back. And pay attention to the position of your knee here. This is too close. Okay, this is more like crane, turning a different tidy for your booty. Pull it back out. I want you to really get this outside piece and your upper glute right here on your pretzel. Use that control. One more lift back, one more lift back. Watch, here's that reach. Push through the toe, pull it in. Push through the toe, pull it in. Two more here. Last one. Good, shake that out. Stretch it out. Hands to toes. Hold it down, open the hamstring. Roll it up, shoulders up and back again. Find your posture. I'm gonna face you for leg lifts this morning. We're gonna wait in two thighs. I'm gonna start with my left leg first. No, I'm gonna start with my right leg first just because I'm facing this way. So we're taking a combo, straight and bend, straight and bend. Find that B, boom, boom. Keep it going here. So prepare your mind for thigh work. One more time. <clears throat> Lifts. Control, push it down out of your hip flexor. Right here, tiny little lifts. Scratch that toe on the wall. And then bend, pulls five, four, three, Two, hold it, reach long, three, two, one. Good, bring that leg down, set up on the other side. Bend, pull, one, two. Two, here, pull, find, just do. Oh, 
I was lost in my arm movement and then I messed that up. <laughs> One more time. Here, pull, straight. Breathe that out, let go of that fire. Two, one, pull it up, bend. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, straighten that out, hold it. Three, two, and one. Take that out into wide second position, nice and deep. We're gonna take large range of motion to a small range of motion. So I'm really getting comfortable in my position here before we move, here we go. Down and lift, down and lift. Nice and big. So we had eight minutes of thighs. We're going, starting here, I'm in at six. Really press down, open the knees in the bottom. You've got time. Good. And push small, push small. For five, four, three, two, one. Lift them up, push five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Guess what, we're gonna go back to big and lift. Yep. We're gonna repeat. Really sweep in the bottom, guys, come on. Get down there and then pull up. Get down there, pull up for two and one. Keep it down, push, push. Here's five, four, three, two, one. We're adding fire, five, four, three, two, one. Pop, one, pop, one, stay here. Here, three, two, one. Hold five, four, three, two, one, don't stop. Base it in to your support now. We're gonna take carousel mermaid combos. So my right leg is forward. I've got about one foot distance between my feet. Press and lift. I'm leaving my right foot flat to start. Bringing the knees forward together. Hips straight down. Core and chest lifted and tight. Keep it going. One more with that flat front foot, and then we shift into that lifted front foot down and lift. So about two inches up, two inches down. So we've got a little bit of a slower beat here. That's on purpose. I want you to dig deep into your thighs here for these last three and a half minutes. Pulse, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it into that mermaid. Big range, pull straight. Big range, pull straight. So our first four minutes, we kind of cranked our heart rate. Second four minutes are about chiseling out those thighs. Digging into your shake. Keep those knees squeezed tight. Both it down. Five, four, three. Two, you see that control? One, hold it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Left leg forward, right leg back. Just one foot space between. Press and lift. So your weight is now on your back leg. Knees face forward at the same time. 
Hips down, brace here. Lift. One more with the flat foot in the front. And we're gonna lift it up here, lift. And up. Down and up. I'm asking for a lot of control of fatigue muscles here. Can you dig in and find it for me? Grab it. Pulse it here, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. B position, heels together, toes slightly turned out. Knees are gonna track out over your middle toes. Press, pull, breathe. This is your last minute of thighs. How much work can you do in 45 seconds? Pulse here. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Big hold for me. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Let's stretch out those quads right here. We made it three thighs again. So you've got time for water here. We're going to transition to our mat work for the second half of the class. So I'm going to roll down, reach, and into my plank position here. Hands down, walk it out into your high plank. Now remember, if you need to live with one option, that's on the knees. And we're here for about 12 more seconds. I want you to pull that left leg up for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Enjoy your stretch right here. Lengthen through that back leg. Open your hip because I've got a new combo here for you. We're gonna do some more pretzel work. Find that quad, open her up. And then you're gonna pull that back leg up here into your side pretzel pose. So I'm gonna shift my hip forward from the right, pull that forward, lengthen through my spine right here, and I'm squeezing on the seat here. Squeeze and out. So you should feel that dig in all the way in to the top of your hamstring. Pull and out, pull, out. So I have my back foot lifted off the floor. If you can't do that yet, just sit back into it. Put your foot down. So that's level one with the foot down. Still squeezing right here. If you can't really find that chicken wing, pull up. And then we're gonna take that extension here from the heel and pull. So push up through that heel and pull. You can't quite put the foot on the floor, that's fine. Give me two more. Good, and then we'll stretch that hip out here. Push, reach. Pull back into your plank pose. Three, two, one, high plank.
10 more seconds. Pull that right leg here. First six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's pull that right leg up. Lengthen out through the left. So we're doing that work in the stretches here. Not only to strengthen, but to improve your mobility. Find your core on that left side. And then shift back. Pull that left leg out into your pretzel pose. So you're squeezing on the left side now. So try and find a straight line out with your left leg. Take that foot out and in, out, pull, out, pull, last one, nice, stretch out that hip reach with that left arm. Bring these back, we're taking it into forearm plank here on our mat, elbows in, remember your level one options. If you're not sure what those options are, drop me a comment below. And let me share those with you. I was wondering how long it would take for you. Shoot. Thirty more seconds, team. Child's pose, knees pointed out toward the edges of the mat. And we're gonna pull it forward. We're gonna lay flat. We're gonna take supine leg lifts here, bent legs, one at a time. So I'm gonna start with my right foot, relaxing my upper body, pushing my knee up off the floor. So keep that leg curled in tight. Don't worry about your height here. You're focusing on that squeeze through the hamstring. Now, if you have a low back problem, you're gonna wanna skip this one. Maybe take a bird dog option. And we're gonna switch legs. Switching into the other leg. Now we're going to curl both legs up and push and down, push and down. Take your time. stretch out the spine after that work and then roll back into child's pose. And 
And then we're gonna pull up, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Push up into cat, push down into cow. Up into cat, and down into cow. One more time, up, and down, nice. We're gonna keep those hands right underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, we're gonna take a tabletop lift here. So we're gonna keep a bent leg, we're gonna push it up, and then a lift on the side. Flex the heel, push up, and lift on the side. Control here. Find that shake when you pull in both times. The inward motion is the effort. One more time, out, and lift up, lift up. Say what? Three, two, one, pull that in, good job. We're gonna roll the wrist if you need to, and reset for the left side, so you're pushing up, and out. Keep that balance in the middle. When you lift that knee out, the knee is moving from the hip, but everything else still faces the floor. That a beautiful sunrise out there. One, two, two, yep, push it. One more time out. Lift up, yep, lift. Three, two, one. Nice work. We're going to take it onto our side. I'm going to put my right leg on top. Make sure I got room when I hit my bike here. Into a side lift. I'm flexing my right foot. Taking a nice big range of motion. Make sure my hips are stacked. My abs are still drawn in tight. So we're going to layer this up nice and deep here again at the end. We're going to take a side lifts and clam combo here. Pull those knees in. Find your 90 degrees. Knees, ankle, hips. Open on the top. Go on. Hi, baby. Almost there. Find that open pull. Last one. Good job. We're going to swing around the other side. Flexing that left foot. Stacking knees, stacking hips. Almost there. Pull them in, heels together, ankles, knees, and hips are square, lift, lift. Find that work right here. So my bottom knee is kind of floating. My toes are turned out. It's like V position on your side. And you should feel this right here. One more. Good job. On our backs now. Bridge pose. So I'm going to put my right foot down, left foot on top, pulling my heel in nice and tight. Lift and down. So 
think about a bigger range of motion here than you are used to if you've done my videos before. We're actually bending all the way down at the hip. My booty brushes them, brushes them out, and then we extend up to try and find that straight line between ribs and hips. Switch legs, push, and down. Last one. Both feet down, now smaller range. Push, push, drive through the heel, squeeze the hamstring, squeeze the seat. Pull your abs in tight, try and find that straight line here. We're gonna relevate under the toes, same thing. Hold it up, five, four, three, two, one, peel it down, cross that right ankle on top, put your hand through the window, let's take a triangle stretch. Other side, cross the left ankle on top of right knee, hand through the window, reach around with the other hand, pull. And release, both heels are gonna come down, we're gonna sit up, we're gonna walk up onto the forearms. We're gonna warm up abs this morning with pelvic tilts. So heels are drawn in, chin tucked in, shoulders back, pull in, push out. So in, out, in, and out. There we go. So we're gonna round off this class here. It's a nice, deep pelvic floor, which still connects to your posterior chain. Your pelvic floor is really important. Deep pelvic floor work and deep core, deep abs. Now I want you to zip up those knees, zip, push. So imagine pulling that zipper from your knees up into your ribs. Mental images here are gonna help you make the most out of these tiny exercises. Find that curl back in, pull your abs in. We're gonna pull knees up, toe tap out. Nice and controlled. So I'm kind of taking my gaze up 45 now to kind of relax my neck a little bit more. <sighs> Stay on that tilt. It's too late now to turn around and back again. I made my bed and I, I laid my head down. And from here, 90 degrees, push one leg down. Pull it up. 90 both ways. One more. Nice. In and down. Relax that tension out of your neck. And up for curl pose. So I'm gonna roll on that last minute here of this class. I'm kind of sad to see it end. I feel like this was a great start to this day. And we're back in a curl and lifting. So heels are down. You can grasp the knees here if you need to. Really focus on this pull right here. Stay with me. Give yourself 30 more seconds. You deserve it right here. 
take the hands off if you can. We're gonna peel and lift a little deeper. Peel and lift. And then we're gonna roll all the way down. Roll. Perfect. Take that into a spine twist stretch. We're stretching out this morning. Other side, twist, breathe. We're gonna lengthen some muscles back out here. Pull one knee in, relax the hip flexor. Pull the other leg in, relax the other. All right, I'm coming up. We're gonna stretch out towards those toes. Take one knee up, pull it over, guys. What was your favorite combo of this class? Oh, gosh. For me, I really think it's that standing pretzel and knee extension. Other leg up and twist. So just reach out for that extended leg a little deeper into the hamstring. If you can reach further, flatten that knee out. I hope you enjoy that we went from dark to the sunrise outside. And I hope you keep that hope in your heart. And I hope, and I hope that we all come together today and from here on out. Other side out. Let's stack that up. Reach up and then pull down, chest forward over your shins. Other side. And remember, this is a full length workout. You can come back to over and over again. Save this for later. Share this with your friends. Bottom of the feet together. And some big reaches left and right, open from the ribs, from the hip. And we're about to stand up, so gather that energy, because you should feel more energized after that, after that exercise, you should feel better. Lift, bring that up. Thank you so much for exercising your way to a better booty with me this morning. I'll catch y'all next time.